since the Philandia Trophy is starting tomorrow and I'm feeling a little better, I thought I would make a prediction video on how I think the top eight for each discipline will play out. So I'm going to start with the men. Based on the competitions that I've seen so far, based on past competition, based on their personal best scores, this is how I think the men feel should play out. This is the top eight that I imagine. I'm seeing first place. If he can land two quads, one in the short, one in the long, and two clean triple axel, this should be an easy win for Mikhail Kuilada. So I'm seeing Mikhail Kuilada taking the win for this. I'm placing Keegan Messing in second place. I know we haven't seen him this season, but Keegan has really good spins, deep knee bend, and if he manages to land his quad, I definitely think the judges might go with Keegan. In third place, I have um, Yevgeny uh, Semenenko. I, do, I think he's going to lose out to Keegan based on like skating skill and component score. But this little jumper that could from Professor Mishan, I definitely see him sneaking in there and winning third place. In fourth place, I'm putting Jason Brown. With his two beautiful program, he should be the leader in components. He should be the leader in skating skill. He should be the leader in transition. He should be the leader in PC. However, because he's coming back from an injury, we don't know how clean his triples will be. So that's the only reason why I don't have him on the podium right now. So I'm having Jason Brown in fourth place. In fifth place, I'm putting Matteo Rizzo. I'm putting him there for the very same reason. Good skating skill, good presentation, good ice presence. If he can land at least one clean quad in the long program and a bunch of clean triples, I have him in fifth place. I'm placing my Dimitri Aliyev in sixth place. And the only reason why I'm placing Dimitri is because he has been struggling for the past I would say two season. Um, I know he's coming back from injury. It's a slow road to recovery. I haven't seen him skate anything clean so far. So I'm definitely placing Dimitri in, in sixth place. In seventh place, I'm going to put um, Gabriel Fagapani again. If he jumps well, I definitely see him getting the technical scores to put him in top 10. And in eighth place, I'm putting a fan favorite, a personal favorite of mine. I feel like he's got so much charisma, so much ice present. He's so much fun to watch. So I'm putting um, Donovan um, Carrillo in eighth place. So Donovan is my number eighth man um, for the field. Next, we're going to go to ice, the ice dance. This should definitely be an easy win for Gabriela Papadakis and Guillaume Cizeron. I've seen both their free and their short and their rhythm dance. I really like the rhythm dance. Um, the free, I feel like the free program is so artistically them. It's so authentic to who they are and how they see themselves and how they want us as the viewers to see them. Um, you know, it, it's, it's very true, and I think it's very ballsy for them to decide to remain so true to their vision of their art. So I, I really, you know, commend them a lot for that. But having said that, I honestly was, I was ready for a 20 to, um, 2016 lyrical moment. I wanted that build a home moment. I wanted them to do a program where I could just watch and marvel at the beauty and simplicity of skating where I could just lose myself in the moment on the ice without having to think. That's probably, they probably feel like they've outgrown that 2016 lyrical style, but I feel like that's such a missed opportunity. If this was their chance, because they've done classical, they've done spoken word, they've 
done all of these interesting nuance type of program and i feel like as a fan i wanted to see that lyrical program that made me fall in love with them in the first place so i kind of feel like this is a missed opportunity but i also think like the, the free dance they have is interesting and there's gonna be lots of ways for it to grow so i think you know this should be a competition that they win in second place even though i haven't seen anything from them so far this season i'm still putting madison chalk and evan bates only because madison can sell sand to someone in the desert and i feel like whatever their program is she's going to sell it and i feel like evan is gonna be there to present her and together they're going to make whatever programs they have work now granted we haven't seen anything yet it might be not so great but i feel like you know the team in montreal will probably give them some good vehicles to work with so i'm putting them in second place and third place is my favorite russian team i love them so much i have alexandra stefanova and ivan bukin in third place they're probably gonna do something sexy something funky i love this team so much so i have them in third place in fourth place i'm putting olivia smart and adrian diaz again having seen the material that they're working with their short program really good their long program i love 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 their long program i definitely see them having a moment this season so i'm putting them just a little bit off of the podium for now in fifth place i have um leah fair and lewis gibson if they manage to create any kind of buzz similar to what they did um, last season, I feel like they can definitely have themselves an Olympic moment. Because I haven't seen what they have to offer, I'm going to put them after Smart and Diaz for now. Um, after them, I'm putting um, Sarah Hurtado and Kirill um, Kalivian. I have seen both their long and short program. There's nothing wrong with either program, but it's nothing to write home about. So I'm putting them in sixth place. In seventh place, I have my upcoming little Canadian couple, my Lala couple, uh, Marjorie Lajoie and Zachary Laga. This little cute Lala couple, I'm so into them. I have been a fan of theirs since they were juniors. And he got a score that he didn't like. And he gave those judges that Devo stare down. And I was like, I am here for it. And I feel like they have so much energy and so much potential. So I'm putting them in seventh place. And then rounding up my top eight is from Christina Carrera and Anthony Panamarenko. I feel like they're also a young team that has a lot of potential. And also that, you know, the Scott Moyer team, I really want to see what he can do as a coach as opposed to what he did as a skater himself. So I want to see how they grow with him. The 